everyone and welcome to Species Center Stage for July 13th, 2023. I'm Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Animal Sanctuary. And this week I'm introducing you to the Savu Python or Laesis savuensis. But not just any Savu Python, the specific Savu Python that now resides here at Behavior Education, who recently arrived from TB Snakes, and I'm calling him Archer. The Savu Python is a small python native to the island of Savu or Savu, which is part of the Lesser Sunda Islands in Indonesia. People only just became aware of and documented the existence of this snake within the last 20 to 25 years. The Savu Python is listed as endangered by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, also known as the IUCN, and that organization reports the population trend of the species is decreasing with the decline primarily observed in mature snakes capable of reproduction, which is not good for their future. The main factors contributing to its decline are habitat loss and the exotic pet trade. The IUCN reports there are not any measures currently set up to protect the Savu Python's habitat. However, trade of the snake is governed by the international management and trade controls, and it is part of international legislation. It is actually covered under CITES Appendix 2. I've been doing extensive research on this species for conservation purposes for about a year now, and it's going to be part of my capstone project for my university studies. I'll be sharing lots more about this species with you. I'll be sharing lots more about this specific snake with you, not just their conservation status, but their care, husbandry, and their genetics, as well as, of course, their behavior handleability, trainability, and temperament. I have Archer set up right now in a 10 gallon tank. He's got full spectrum lighting. He has a UVB bulb and a halogen for heat. And it's one of those rare occasions when I am using a coil UVB just because this is such a small enclosure that I wanna make sure his heating and lighting, including his UVB, are isolated to a specific section which he can access and then he has plenty of space and opportunity to get away from that if he does not want to be exposed to it. He is very small, although he's already a year old and he has ample space in this tank for right now. Surprisingly, he is spending a lot of time on that ledge. I thought when he first arrived that he would be hiding a lot, but he's he hasn't hidden that much. He's done a lot of climbing. He's very curious about what's going on outside of the tank. And so far, so good. So I will keep you posted on him specifically. And then I will keep you guys posted on my project. And I have acquired lots of information about the species in regards to its conservation status and its future and population management, and I will be sharing that with you, including a website that I designed as a project for school, and hopefully that will also be part of my capstone.